post-production? I'm deleting all of this. Can I just record me writing it down in your post-production? No. I'm just deleting all the failed videos. C. Come second. And then our uh, reason is that um, obviously when you have two perpendicular lines, um, when they intersect, there's going to be two uh, 90 degree angles. And then they have AC is AC. EB bisects AC. Okay, so um, our next step is we need to somehow prove that one over here is congruent to the one over here. So to do that, there's a little triangle right here. So we're gonna try to get to show that those two are congruent and um, then go from there. So we're gonna start with that ADB is congruent to CBD, which is the ones we just said were right angles because obviously all right angles are congruent. Right angles are congruent. Okay, so for our next, our next step, um, we're going to say that um, the line that we D, B, D is a perpendicular bisector because since we're given that A, D is congruent to D, C, we automatically know that it's coming in at obviously perpendicular 90 degree angle and it's splitting that segment in half. And then our next step, number five, we are going to start trying to prove that the two triangles are congruent, which the two angles that we're trying to prove are congruent are in. So we're going to start with AE is congruent to EC, which AE is this one right here, and EC is the one over here. And we know that those are congruent because um, of the perpendicular bisector theorem, because if it splits it and in half, then obviously wherever the point meets it, it's going to be congruent segments. Um, and then for number six, uh, we're going to go and we're going to try to prove another side because we're trying to get to like the SSS, side, side, side. So we're going to try to prove that um, BE is congruent to BE, which is this one right here, the one in the middle. Um, so we know that because of reflexive property. Obviously, if it's itself, it's congruent to itself. And then for number seven, we're going to say BA is congruent to BC. Um, BA is right here, this long one on the side, and BC is the long one on this side. And we know it because of the same reason as the other one, it's a perpendicular bisector theorem. Um, so obviously if it goes from, the segment is cut in half, wherever it meets that perpendicular bisector, it's going to be um, the same length. Um, and then for number eight, since we have all three sides of this triangle right here, we are able to say that triangle BAD is congruent to triangle BEC. And um, we know this because of SSS, because we proved all the sides that are congruent. So now all we need to do is just say that the triangles are congruent. <laughs> SSS. And then obviously for our last step, um, we're going to say because we proved that this triangle is congruent to this triangle, we know that those two are because of CPCTC, which says that basically if um, you have a triangle, two triangles that are congruent, all parts of that, every angle, every side is going to be congruent. So that is our final proof. That's how we did it. And yeah, thanks for watching.